Welcome to week number four, the final week of the Mystery Amagurumi. Let's get started right after this. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today is week number four in the Mystery Amagurumi. Yes, we've seen some correct guesses on Facebook already, but of course I'm not gonna deny or confirm any of those allegations of what it could have been. And today, by the end of today, you'll figure out exactly what it is because we'll have another video on the assembly of putting together your character. So today we have uh, four different components. Uh, one of them has uh, two components, uh, two side by side. And so basically we're gonna go through parts 10, 11, 12, and I believe it's 13. Yes, all the way to the end and then we'll be able to figure out exactly what we're doing. So without further ado, you're going to need your yarn that you've been using. For the first one, we're going to be using a three and a half millimeter um, crochet hook, uh, three and a half for that one as well. Let's just see the other ones, three and a half and four millimeter. So you'll need two sizes today. You'll need some stitch markers to so carry on through and without further ado, let's get started. So let's review part number 10. It looks like a bowling pin. That's exactly what we're doing here and we only need one of these. So let's grab our stitch marker, three and a half millimeter size E crochet hook today and let's get started with round number one. So let's begin round number one and we're going to do um, a magic circle. So MR as per the instructions is a magic circle. So do it. We just put the yarn in front. We've done this in the other tutorials for this. So this is week number four. So please do your magic ring. So if you've been following along, you probably have gotten used to doing it just like that. So let's uh, begin round number one. It says two, uh, six single crochets into the MR which is magic ring. So just coming in and let's count out six single crochets. So one and two, three, four, five and six. Once you have this done, just uh, just pull up a loop. There is my stitch marker in the background here. I'm just gonna put it in underneath the first one. Okay, we've been doing that all along in the mystery as well. So we're just gonna carry our stitch marker through so that we don't ever lose count on where we are. So there we go. Put that hook back in and then just grab that loose strand. Okay, this one here and pull tight and that'll pull everything into a circle. So let's move on to round number two. So round number two, it says increase times six. Increase, if you've been remembering all along, is two single crochets into the same one. So we immediately just come to the first single crochet and we do are doing this in a continuous round. So if you're just joining us for the first time, now then this is a continuous round project, the whole thing. Okay, so let me just retry that one again. So the first one and we wanna do two single crochets into each stitch going all the way back around to the stitch marker which is marked with the blue strand. kind of early in the morning here at the crochet crowd at this time. So I'm not as <laughs> nimble as I should be. Okay, so here we go. Now I'm getting into the swing. So it's two single crochets into each one of those going all the way to the stitch marker. Uh, once we just get a little bit further into today's tutorial, I'm just gonna give you the instructions to start the round but I'm not gonna have you follow me completely uh, going around each and every round because it's just, you'll get bored watching me go. So here we go. So this is the stitch marker. So you're gonna put two in there and then once you get the line finished or the round finished, just pull up and pull that stitch marker through. Okay. And it will move it up. And so then next time you're done, you'll know the stitch marker is the last. So let's uh, move up to round number three. Round number three, again really easy. It says two single crochets. Okay, so we're gonna go two single, cro one single crochet in the next two. So that means, that's what it means, two single crochets. And then it says to do an increase. So the increase then is then two into the same one. Okay, so but why, so what it means, two single crochets is that there's gonna be one single crochet and then two and the next one is an increase. So there'll be two into that one. So do that same patterning going all the way around. So just finished round number three. Remember to move up that stitch marker so you never lose count. So rounds four, five and six, the next three rounds are just one single crochet into each 
single crochet going all the way around. So four, five, and six. Please do all three rounds. Just continue to mark off every time you go around so you can mark it off the list. Those empty boxes are check boxes that you can fill in. And please do four, five, and six now. And I'll see you. We'll start number seven. Let's begin round number seven. Round number seven is two single crochets in a row. So one, sorry, it's one single crochet with two, <laughs> with two. Okay, so it's one and two. And then it says a decrease. So a decrease, if you remember, is in, pull through, go to the next stitch, in, pull through. Okay, so you have three loops on your hook and pull through all three and that makes those two into one. So that's a decrease. So the repeat pattern on this whole uh, round is that there's gonna be uh, a single crochet two times in a row and then a decrease. So in, in, and pull through. Do that same patterning going all the way around. Okay, round number eight is starting off with one single crochet by itself and then a decrease. Okay, so the next two are together. Okay, so another single crochet by itself and the next one is a decrease, so two together. So do that same patterning going all the way around for round number eight. Okay, rounds number nine and ten are both the same, just one single crochet into each and then after we come, you get those two rounds done, we're going to lightly stuff this section here and then continue to move on in this tutorial. So please just do one single crochet in each for rounds number nine and ten. So I just finished up rounds nine and ten and then I stuffed it. So I got some stuffing in there, you can see it's all filled up. So let's move on to round number 11 and we're gonna start increasing once again. So let's move on and it says to single crochet into the next one and then increase into the one after that. So the increase if you remember is two single crochets into the same stitch. Okay, so the, remember the repeat pattern is one single crochet by itself and the next one is an increase. So continue that same pattern going all the way around. Round number 12, we're going to just put one single crochet into each stitch going all the way around. So one single crochet into each for round number 12. Round number 13 is, what do we got here? Two single crochets in a row. So one and two and then uh, an increase. So that's two into the same one. So for this round it is one crochet by, a single crochet by itself, two single crochets by itself and then an increase. So do that same all the way. Uh, same thing all the way around. Round number 14, here we go. So it's gonna be three single crochets in a row. So we got one, two, and three. And then an increase. So there'll be two into this one. Okay, so let's repeat that one more time just so you get it. So there's gonna be three by itself. So one, two, and three and then an increase so it'll be two into that one. Please do that same thing all the way around. Time for rounds 15 and 16. Just a straight easy. It is one single crochet into each all the way around. So 15 and 16, one single crochet. Mark your sheets off and I'll meet you back on number 17. So round number 17, again another easy one. Ah, they're all easy, what am I saying? So four single crochets in a row and then an increase. So let's do this. So one and two three and four and then this is an increase. Okay, continue that same pattern and going all the way around. So one, two, <laughs> it's like aerobics, <laughs> three, four and here's the increase. So do that same thing all the way around. <laughs> you can tell people you actually exercise today. <laughs> Okay, and we're back. Now 18 to 27, there's a total of 10 rounds complete. It's just one single crochet into each. So every time you pass around the stitch marker, move it up and check it off on your list. And uh, it's 18 to 27 as one single crochet into each. Please do that and then I'll meet you back here and we'll start number 28. We're almost done at that point too. Okay, 18 to 27 are now done and I wanna stuff this because we're gonna start doing a decrease in the next two rounds we are decreasing completely. So if you don't stuff it right now, you're gonna be in big trouble. So make sure you stuff it at this point and I'll see you back here in just a moment. So round number 28, I'm ready to, I've got myself stuffed up and let's go. So two single crochets in a row. So let's just pull this tighter. One and two. And then the next one is two together. So it's a, it's a decrease. That's the repeat pattern for this entire round. So let's uh, repeat that one more time. So just a single crochet and a single crochet. 
and then a decrease. Continue that same idea all the way around. Okay, last round is number 29 and it's a decrease all the way around. So basically every, we're just gonna keep decreasing. So one and two, so that's a decrease. Do it again, one and, and two is a decrease. I think I missed that one. Let me try that one again. So just pull through like so. So continue to do that all the way around and then we're gonna fasten this off and this part is then officially done. Okay, number 29 is done and now I just want you to pull up on the yarn. Make sure you cut it first and what we're going to use is that you'll see that there's still a hole and we're gonna put a darning needle on this particular piece here or on this particular strand. Okay, and what I want you to do is that I want you to just weave it in and out of the, the remaining stitches that you see and what we're gonna do is like close line it together. So we just continue to go around and you see I'm really not pulling it tight at this point but I'm going to right now. So we're gonna pull everything tight and it will bring it all to conclusion like so and then I'm just gonna just go across the, the bottom just in a couple directions just to make sure it really is closed so I really can't see anything going on and then once you get that done you can just tie it off and then be done. So this component would be done for today. So let's move on to part number 11. So let's move along to part number 11. There's only four rounds. I wouldn't even bother to have a stitch marker for this one. There's only four rounds so it's not hard to lose count but you just check off your boxes as you go and let's get started and you'll need a three and a half millimeter size E crochet hook for this particular part. So you're going to make a magic ring first like we have already in the past just to get started. So here we go. Okay, so it says to do, what does it say to do? Work four single crochets into the magic ring. So we're just gonna go one, two, three, and four. And now what I wanna do is I'm not gonna use a stitch marker for this one because it's so such a small part is that I'm gonna pull everything tight and then I'm gonna carry on. So the, so that was round number one. So round number two is increased times four. So the next um, four will be just an increase. So there'll be two single crochets into each. So I'm just kind of physically counting on my own. So this is two and then there'll be two in this one for three and then there'll be two in this one for four. Okay, so that was round number two. So let's move along to three and four. What I am gonna do because I'm kind of self conscious is that I'm gonna put a stitch marker right in the spot here because I need to go around for three and four as a single crochet each and I know I will forget. So this one I will use a stitch marker right at this point. So you can put a stitch markers in at any time and so basically rounds three and four are just one single crochet into each and then I just want you to fasten off and just make it an extra long tail so you can use it to sew it onto your project at the end. Once you have your part done, so I've just gone all the way around for three and four, I just wanna uh, just trim off an extra long tail cause I'm gonna use that for sewing at the end and we'll have to put some light stuffing in there um, when we get to the assembly process as well. Just wrap the hook and just pull through like so. So now I can remove my stitch marker. This uh, piece is from the magic circle which I would just probably tuck inside of this cause nobody's gonna ever see it anyway. If you trim it um, too short then it is a magic circle. Your circle will fall apart on you. So just uh, that's it's it for number 11. So I'm gonna put this aside and then we'll have to figure out what we're gonna do with that in a bit. Okay, part number 12, three and a half millimeter size E crochet hook. We need two of these drumstick looking things and this is what we're going to be doing today. There's not too many rounds and then part 13 that will conclude off today's mystery for what we're doing for the components. So let's uh, get started on making one of these. You'll need a stitch marker definitely for this as well as a three and a half millimeter size E crochet hook today. So let's start off making a magic ring. We've already shown how to do that several times. And if you've been following this particular series uh, we really covered it extensively in the beginning. So a magic ring and then it says to put eight single crochets into the magic ring. So let's uh, do that. So just coming inside the ring. So one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, I want you to put a stitch marker underneath that eighth one there. So just pull it up. Therefore we know where to stop and start. Put your hook back in. Grab your straggler string and pull tight and that will close that circle. So let's uh, begin the next round. Okay, round number two we're immediately just gonna jump to the first one. It's a continuous round and it will be an increase into each one going all the way around. So one and two. So there will be two single crochets into each one going all the way around for this particular round. So do that and I'll see you back here in a sec. We'll move up another row. Make sure you are moving your stitch marker every time. You know what? I'm coming. I'm almost done. So make sure every time you uh, are finishing around you move up your stitch marker. I'm gonna show you that in just a sec um, because then you can always keep count and making sure your project stays in balance. You can buy stitch markers if you wish. Um, I like spare yarn. I just never lose it. <laughs> That's primar primarily my reason but I also like to drag my string up through a project so I can actually see where the stopping starting is for the entire rounds as that I, that I do. So here's the last one. I can see by the stitch marker it is the last one and I'm gonna put two into this one. So then once I get that last one in I grab the go underneath the stitch and pull the stitch marker underneath it and therefore that signifies the next one. Let's move up to the next row. Okay round number three easy easy. So three single crochets in a row. So one and two and three and then it says to do an increase so the next one is gonna have two single crochets into that one. That's an increase. Okay, so the repeat pattern is one, two, and three and then an increase so there's two in that one. Please do that all the way around. Okay, rounds four, five, and six are all the same. One single crochet into each. Make sure you mark your Mark it as you go and pass by the stitch marker. Move your stitch marker up. So rounds four, five, and six, one single crochet into each. So round number seven is interesting. Now it's gonna be a little bit different going forward. So you see single crochet decrease times six and then it says two single crochets after that. So when you go to do the decrease you're gonna go single crochet for the next one and then decrease for the next and you keep repeating that all the way around. Now what's gonna happen is that you'll be left with two empty stitches at the end and that's why it says two single crochets and you'll be filling those in with two single crochets at the end. So just continue just a one single crochet and then decrease the next one single crochet, decrease the next and when you get all the way around you'll be left with two empty uh, single crochets and you fill those in with a single crochet each. After this we're gonna stuff it and uh, just lightly and then we'll continue along to round number eight. So round number eight I have stuffed it as you can see here and we're gonna carry on. So this one is like round number seven. So single crochet decrease. This time it's times four and there'll be two single crochets that left at the end that you're just gonna fill in with the single crochet. So okay so let's start off and we're gonna do one single crochet the next and then a decrease. Okay. Okay and then one single crochet and then a decrease. So continue that same patterning all the way around. You're gonna be left with two single crochets at the end of this round and you'll just fill those in with a single crochet each as per the instructions. Now at any time you can fill in with stuffing the more that you go. So that's up to you to do that okay. So just uh, you don't need for me to tell you that. So what we have for round number nine is three single crochets and then a decrease. So three, so one, two, and th three and then a decrease and continue to do that all the way around. You can only do it one more time anyway and you'll be back at the stitch marker. So I've just stuffed it a little bit more and round number 10 and 11 is just one single crochet into each. So please do that for rounds number 10 and 11. So rounds number 12 we're going to start increasing. So this one here is uh, two single crochets in a row. So one and two and then the next one is an increase. So there will be two into this one. Do that same thing all the way around and when I'm looking at the instructions you'll be left with two single crochets left at the end and let me continue. So just one and two. You'll be left with two single crochets at the end and uh, you just have to do one single crochet into each. 
Okay, so there's my increase and as I said there will be two left and then there will be one in a single crochet into each of these to finish that round off. And let's just move up the stitch marker at that point. Okay, rounds 13 and 14 both the same. Again a single crochet into each. And see how I've got this really loose um, loop right here. I wanna make sure it gets it nice and tight cause that'll be very visible in the long term. So just single crochet into each for rounds number 13 and 14. Okay, round number 15. We only got two more rounds to go and we're done. So this one is a decrease times five. So every time you, you get two in a row, just decrease it for so one. So decrease again and keep doing that all the way around. So keep decreasing all the way around for round number 15. And finally the last round for this one is that you'll decrease and you'll times that two. So there'll be de two decreases in a row and then you'll be left with one stitch and then it says to do one single crochet at the end anyway. So, so it was to decrease for one and you'll do a decrease again for two and then you got one stitch left over and then that'll be just a single crochet on its own. So what I want you to do then is we want to trim the tails off. So we want to leave an extra long string Again, like we have been all along. You may have to use that later. And I just wanted to pull it up like so. And you, we can clean this up because this is not supposed to be pointing like this, but we can clean it up later. Um, and as we figure out exactly what we're doing at this particular point. So we have one more component for week number four. So here we are for part number 13 and we just need to create this flat panel just like so. It's a consisting of 19 rows. You can see the check boxes, but we're going to be doing a rows number one and two and there will be some increasing there and it will make sense when you see it on the character. Um, and then basically we're just gonna carry on do three to 19 on our own. It's just single crochet back and forth and then leaving on a really long tail in order to, to do all the, the fastening on process to the character. So let's say begin you're gonna need a four millimeter size G crochet hook and whatever yarn that you're using today. So let's begin four millimeter size G crochet hook. Start off with the slip knot and we want to chain a total of 29. I'm not gonna chain 29 on camera with you. I'll just get you started. So remember that the one on the hook never counts as one. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Go all the way to our 29 and I'll see you back here in just a moment. Okay, I have my 29 on my hook at this moment and basically what I wanna do then is that I want to start off the instruction. So it says single crochet second chain from the hook and across the chain. So second one from the hook and then just single crochet and I, did you see that I turn my, my uh, um, chain upside down? I just think it does a nicer finish when you do that way. It'll be right on the bottom. So just single crochet across the top of your chain. So I've done a single crochet all the way across my chain. Let's turn around and go for row number two. So row number two, we're gonna start off and we're going to chain one. So row number two is the only unique row out of this whole thing and uh, out of this particular component. So we're gonna do an increase right away. So the very first stitch will be an increase. So there'll be two single crochets there. And you have a choice. You can single crochet here and count the 26 that it's asking you or just know that the very last stitch you have to do an increase which I would I'm not even gonna bother to count. So just a uh, single crochet across your chain and then the very last um, stitch just do an increase. So put in two single crochets here. So this is the only row that it requires this. And as I promised the very last chain or the last stitch is an increase. So there's two single crochets into that one. So that was round our row number two. So let's begin round our rows number 13 or 3 to 19. Sorry about all that. So 3 to 19 is just one chain one, one single crochet into each as you go all the way across. And you're gonna continue to that and I want you to do this all, uh, on your own. So go from all the way from 3 to 19 and then I want you to leave a very long tail and we're gonna use that to fasten it to the character as well. So it goes 3 to 19 fasten off and that will conclude your components for week number four. So here we go off camera I've been making this and what I wanna do is that I want to make sure that when I do the last tail here I wanna make sure that I can at least sew it all the way around here, here and here. So you make sure you leave enough string to do that. So it's better to over plan it than it is to not have enough in this particular case. So grabbing your scissors um, just start to, uh, just trim that yarn like so and then I'm just gonna take the tail and pull it through that loop 
and I'm good to go. I actually did uh, a color ball change too at this point. So just make sure if you've done that at any point just get rid of that as well and then um, basically see I just went from one ball to the other. The only way you can really tell that is that you see how the patterning is just kind of going up like this and then it suddenly changes here. That's because I've changed the ball. So you know it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do. Don't wanna waste yarn and that's how it's gonna be. Okay. 